Sticky Stone has been a tremendous product for PaveTool. In fact, we've had hundreds of thousands of clicks and views on this product, and yet coming back with lots of questions. How does it actually hold up? What is the longevity of Sticky Stone? On our building here, we installed it about three years ago. So that's three winters, three summers. And what that means is we've had some extreme weather. This area also has a lot of frost in, out, in, out, where temperatures are rising above and below freezing. So that makes a huge difference with product because you have expansion and contraction. So what we're gonna do today is we are actually gonna tear apart a little corner of the wall and see just how well this has adhesed to our building and just how well it performed. Let's go check this out. So I'm here in kind of a discreet area, kind of tucked in the bushes here, but um, I'm gonna try to get one of these pieces of stone off after being installed for three years. You can see here on the corner, this got real good adhesion here. And corners can be a little tricky just because of the, the angle and whatnot. These aren't always dead square, the, uh, the stone pieces. So, but you can see here, it made good adhesion. It actually ate through the paint. We scuffed the paint down, but it ate through the paint. And that's really what you want, where it actually took some of the concrete out of the uh, concrete block wall. Well, that was fun. It's not too often that you tear apart something you built. And uh, it was great to see just how well it has performed. The next part of this video we want to talk about is over the, these hundreds of thousands of views we've gotten, there's been several questions that have come up over and over again. So we picked the top five questions and we want to go through those one by one to be able to help you understand this product better. So the number one question that we get is, Phil, I'm going to cut you off real quick. So you can install Sticky Stone with one of these manual sausage guns, or you can buy one of these. This is a DeWalt electric sausage gun, and it's gonna speed up the install process of Sticky Stone by a ton. And as a thank you to all of our awesome customers, we're actually gonna be giving one of these away to the next 50 people that purchase Sticky Stone at pavetool.com. Now, back to the video. So the number one question that we get is what stone did we use on the front of our building? And the product is called InStone Interlock Natural Stone. From ease of installation, the look is amazing. Obviously, I've been a mason in 1985. We did a lot of natural stone work. And I love the way you can lay these panels out and you have no, your eye is not attracted to any continuous line because that line is broken continuously as you move throughout the uh, pattern of the product. And working in your corners, working in pillars, it just, it really is. It's an amazing product with very little cutting and uh, fitting. And once you kind of get those concepts down, you can move extremely, extremely quick. And this is the results you get. And coupled with this product, the Sticky Stone, you can do backyard areas where you're not having a mess and mixing with concrete and whatnot. It just really is a great combination between Sticky Stone and InStone. Number two question we get asked often, was the InStone product with Sticky Stone stuck to this painted wall behind me. This is a CMU block, and yes, it is painted. And the answer is, the product itself, Sticky Stone, is only as good as your substrate behind it. So if that's gonna deteriorate or uh, degrade over time, you're gonna wanna keep that in mind. So with this particular application, what we did, we took a wire brush and we scraped that paint and got it down to that which is solid, so that when we stuck the stone to it, we had great performance. The next question we get asked often, is can this be adhered to, say, a foam board, ICF board? And the answer to that is keep in mind, it's only as good as your substrate, so what's behind the product? My own recommendation would be I wouldn't recommend it. So if you do choose to do this, make sure that you're using a very light product so you don't have to worry about that pulling that foam out. So the fourth question we often get asked is what substrates do we recommend sticking the sticky stone to? 
And that would be your wood, hardy board, or concrete board, your concrete surface, and brick. So that would be our highly uh, recommended products. However, if you look at the official manual for Sticky Stone, that would be gypsum board or drywall, wood, pressure treated wood, plywood, brick, concrete block, or cement board. So those are some recommendations. Again, keep in mind it's only as strong as that substrate. So one trick that we've learned and I've seen done in the uh, field, laying like a field stone product on a fireplace interior. So sticking it right to the plywood and then just before you stick the stone on there, just take a little uh, black spray paint, spray your border, stick it on there, lay your next stone, spray where it's gonna end. And you can just kind of do that and it makes it look like a black uh, mortar joint behind it. So just kind of a great little quick tip and trick so you're not seeing that plywood behind it. So the final question we get asked is what can sticky stone be used with or for? And our recommendation here at Pave Tool would be thin veneer stone or manufactured veneer, uh, brick veneer or tile. However, from the official manual, they recommend it for decorative stone, alternative masonry, natural stone, outdoor porcelain tile, outdoor glass, wood composite materials, concrete pavers, and a variety of substrates. So a wide variety. And again, I just wanna to elaborate too on a couple of things, just the ease of installation. And another uh, point of caution is not near water. You don't want where this product's gonna stay damp or in water. It will not perform well in that situation. So in conclusion, what a product. We've seen tremendous results with Sticky Stone. We've seen incredible projects, the ease of use, eliminating all that mess of mix and mortar and the energy it takes and the prep and the cleanup, it just is. It's an incredible product. And to see how well it's performed after three years in a freeze thaw cycle, to me that's exciting and we hope it is for you too. Thank you for watching this week's tip of the week. Remember, you can go to pavetool.com to purchase Sticky Stone. And also at pavetool.com, be sure to sign up for our tip of the week. You can also check us out on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Thank you for watching.